Maker moments. Make a space sheep. So I was thinking about my puppy dog. She's a sheep dog. And what would she want to play with in space? Probably a space sheep. It could have a helmet and a jetpack. So I decided to see if I could make a space sheep. So that's what we're going to do today. We've got our supplies here. Tape, painter's tape, and also clear tape. Cardboard, some cardboard tubes, scissors, construction paper, a glue gun, yarn, large bubble wrap, two clothespins of the same size, and a marker. All right. So the first thing we're gonna do here is actually to cut out the shape of the sheep's body and head. And we're gonna be wrapping yarn all the way around it. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a few little curves here just for more of a sheep look and to help the yarn stick to it. Before I wrap the yarn, I'm gonna go ahead and just use my Sharpie to color the head here so I can see it. And I'm also going to throw on my clothespins. It's important to make sure that your clothespins are even so that your sheep can stand up straight. If one of your clothespins is a little longer, it'll look a little wonky. So make sure that they're pushed up as far as they can go. I recommend not gluing them because you might need to adjust later. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and color on those legs as well. All right, so now we've got our sheep's body. Now it's time to start wrapping. Let's get my yarn here and take some tape to make sure that it's anchored into the middle of the sheep. And then we're just gonna start wrapping so that the yarn is in a vertical pattern along the sheep. Don't worry about the clothespins for now. Just go down as far as you can to the back end of the sheep and use your hand as a kind of brace to keep the yarn from sliding. And as you go, you may wanna add a little bit of hot glue here and there just to help anchor the yarn, but make sure that you don't burn your fingers. Once you've gone as far as you can go, you can start wrapping back the other direction. You'll wanna flip your sheep now and then to make sure that your yarn looks good on both sides. Remember that the first layer may not look really pretty, but you're going to be putting lots of yarn on top. If you've got short pieces like me, you'll occasionally need to anchor them into place before starting a new piece. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of fast forwarding here because there is a lot of wrapping in this project and it's actually pretty fun to do, but you don't need to see it all. I do wanna show you, however, how I cover the top of the clothespins. You can see that I'm doing a little crisscross X pattern and that the more that I wrap, the more it covers the top of the legs. You can also go down and wrap some little circles around the top of the legs if you want as well whatever you need to do to make sure that the tops are covered all the way down to the black marker. You can also use a tiny piece of cardboard to push on the glue. That way you don't put your hand in danger. You may also find it necessary, depending on the shape of your sheep, to cut in a couple little divots. That'll help the yarn stick even better. Just make sure you don't cut the yarn you've already wrapped. As you wrap, the layers of yarn will create traction and allow you to wrap the back end and the front of the sheep with more ease. Just continue to wrap and you'll start to see results. You can see now that my sheep is looking really wooly. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the yarn here and tie a little knot. You could also finish off with some glue or tape, whatever you prefer. So now we have a sheep. I'm gonna take some construction paper here and crumple it up. And this is gonna be the fire for the jetpack that we're making. So let's get started with that. I've taken my little tube here and cut it in half. You could use a toilet paper tube or a paper towel tube or just rolled up cardboard or paper. I'm gonna go ahead and cover those with blue tape just for aesthetic purposes. And now I'm going to put my construction paper flames into the back. You could glue or tape those in if you want to have them be a little bit more secure. Now I'm gonna take two pieces of painter's tape and put them together so that the sticky sides are sticking together. And so now it's sort of a strap or handle. And I'm going to test and make sure that it fits on my sheep and that I have the right length. I've got just about the right length, so I'm gonna go ahead and attach the jetpack side pieces to the strap and then put them on my sheep. Now it's time to make the helmet. So I grabbed some large bubble wrap. You could use any kind of clear plastic, but this is nice because it already has sort of the built-in circles. I'm gonna cut around one of these circles and trim off a little bit here. Just try not to puncture that inner wall. I'm also gonna use my marker to draw around the edges. That way it's just a little easier to see the helmet. Now I'm gonna see where I need to cut just to make sure that the helmet will fit all the way onto my sheep's head. I'll go ahead and tape it on here. And I'm gonna use that clear tape so it doesn't stand out too much. All right, so now I can put all the pieces together and there we have it a space sheep for my space sheep dog. 